Welcome back to Max VA Disability, where it's your body, your claim, and most importantly, it's your money. Hey everybody, I'm Black Hawk Brian. Today we're going to be talking about bills affecting veterans. I'm going to show you where every bill you could possibly want to know about is located. And here we are. If you've watched some other videos of mine talking about bills and where they're at, uh, I've always used this website, congress.gov. That's it. Congress.gov. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of this video, but I'm going to show you a little bit about the website today, how easy it is to use, and how informative this actually is. Just to show you how simple this website actually is, I typed in veteran, and it gives me two choices, uh, current Congress, all sources, or legislation. Legislation is the one that we're looking for. When I click on that, there's numerous tabs within this page. And actually, it's kind of, like I said, very interesting. But if you look to the left, you've got a bunch of filters. We're looking at just legislation, basically bills that are being presented that can affect veterans in some way. So far, this year, there's been 1,199 bills presented, introduced. How do I know that? Because we're in the 118th Congress for the year 2023 and 2024, 1,199. The Senate has introduced 655 bills, while the House has presented introduced 544. But back up to the top, you can see we've got 100 per page, so that basically means 12 pages. There's 12 pages of bills that have, presented, have been presented so far in the 118th Congress. So let me show you how this works. You've got House Resolution, House Bill 5682, to expand the financial health care and educational benefits received by Peace Corps and America Corps volunteers and for other purposes sponsor it gives you the sponsor when it was introduced how many co-sponsors if any the committees that it's in and the latest actions but again if you've seen any of my other videos here's the part that i gravitate to down here the tracker it basically tells you where this house resolution where the bill is it's been introduced it has to get past the house Past the Senate, it has to go to the president, has to get signed, approved to become a law. Until this happens, this is just sitting here. It will be a bill. It will remain a bill. And whatever's in that bill is not going to take effect. Much like the Richard Starr Act, it's at the introduced section. It still has to go past the House, past the Senate, get signed by the president, become law. Now, what you'll see is if you scroll through here, you've got the HRs, and then if you look down a ways, there's one, the S. S-2888. That is a Senate bill. So it's real easy. House bill, Senate bill. This one, the first one on the Senate is a bill to amend Title 10 United States Code to authorize representatives of veterans service organizations to participate in presentations to promote certain benefits available to veterans during pres it looks like a typo, during preparation counseling under the transition assistance program of the Department of Defense and other purposes. The TAPS program, if you haven't heard of that. But like with each of these House bills and Senate bills, if you want to know more about it, if you click on this button right here for that actual bill, this page opens up. It gives the, the bill the title, the overview, and then down here are the second set of tabs that I consider very important. You've got the summary, the text, the actions, the titles, the amendments, the co-sponsors, the committees, and related bills. So let me get out of this one and give you an example of how these tabs work. Here's one. I had to scroll down all the way to 466 and get back into the month of July. If you click on this uh, House Bill 4563, American Confidence in Elections Act. Not even going to go there. But if I open it up, you'll see there's the title, the overview. And if we look down here, if I click on this text, this page opens up. And now it starts to look like something that lawyers have written. And yes, they have. Uh, House Resolution 4563. This will basically tell you what it is um, and who the representatives and our sponsors and co-sponsors, what it is. It's a bill. here, And here is the uh, long title. And then here's the short title. This act may be cited as the American Confidence in Elections Act or the ACE Act. Using the same bill, just to show you what these tabs do, if I come in here and click on Actions, it shows 14 actions. Click on All Actions and see what pops up. Well, basically, if we go back to the 11th of July, it was referred to um, the Committee on House Administration and in addition to blah, 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 blah. But essentially, I'm looking for what, where is it now? Referred to the Subcommittee on Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Protection. Okay, it's getting shoved under the carpet right about now. 
Uh, and on the 13th of July, committee consideration and markup session held. And then on the same day, it was ordered to be reported, amended by the uh, yeas and the nays, eight to four. So where is it now? It's literally just sitting there. If you click on titles, it gives other short titles uh, as far as the American Confidence in Election Act. Um, short titles is introduced for portions of this bill. You don't weaponize the IRS Act and Zuckerbuck's Act of 2023, promoting fee and fair, free and fair elections act and solving an overlooked loophole in votes for executives solve act. There's no amendments to this bill so far, so I won't show you that. Co-sponsors, there's 127. And when you open that page up, this gives you every one. It shows how many per state, if, this, if there is a representative in that state that did co-sponsor, and then their names. If I click on committees, it shows that 10 committees are listed and the Committee on House Administration, where it was referred to, and it gives you all those different ones from the House Rules Committee to the House Judiciary Committee. And if I click on Related Bills, this page comes up. And it shows all the different ones that in some way, shape, or form are related to this bill. So if you happen to know the, the name of a particular bill that you're looking for, for instance, this one involving Richard Starr, the Major Richard Starr Act, let's look at currently search for Richard Starr in all available Congress legislation. And there it is, House Resolution 1282, the one presented by Bill Rackus. I just did a video on this, um, and I won't recap, but basically... This is just showing you, like I said, if you know the particular name, then a lot of times you can go right to it. Here's another one, the Guard Act. I've done a video on this one as well. Let's click on that, all legislation. And when that opens up, sometimes you might just have to read through the first few to find the one that you're uh, specifically looking for. Here's this one, the House Resolution 1139, the Guard VA Benefit Act. But where is it? Where is it today? You can do this pretty much every day if you want to, to find out uh, the specific status on a bill but if you click under all actions you can see it was introduced in the house referred to the committee on veterans affairs referred to another committee referred to another subcommittee and now the subcommittee hearings held so that's it it's still in the introduced phase of the tracker while many politicians say that oh you know i introduced this bill i'm the sponsor of this or i'm the co-sponsor of this particular bill well, that's fine and dandy, but until they get down to this last stage where they become law, they don't mean anything. So if you want the facts about bills, both from the House and the Senate, the Congress in general, here's the page to find it. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Tell a buddy. And if you want to stop beating around the bush with your VA claim, you want to get busy, you want to get serious about it, please check my website out, www.maxvadisability.com, where it is your body, your claim, your money. If you're considering paying somebody to help you file your claim, do me a favor first. Look at this $95 membership fee, one time up front, lifetime, and $20 of that goes to the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association, a national nonprofit organization. It's Veterans Helping Veterans. Kent L says, Brian, you are the real deal.